Hi, I'm Jenny, and today we're going to learn how to get started with reporting in Klaviyo. Klaviyo includes a number of tools to help you review and assess how your marketing strategies are performing and where you can improve. These tools are grouped under the Analytics tab, which we'll explore in detail in this video. You will learn how to get an overview of your performance using dashboards, analyze your A-B tests using experiments, view metrics data using metrics, compare your performance with industry peers using benchmarks, assess your deliverability using deliverability, and conduct in-depth analysis using custom reports. First, navigate to the Dashboards tab under Analytics in your Clavio account. By default, you should see an overview dashboard already created in Clavio. Click into it to start exploring. A dashboard is made up of cards. A card is a way to visualize the set of metrics. You can understand it as the answer to a question you may have, such as, how are my flows performing? Or how much revenue have I generated with Clavio? The overview dashboard has a set of default cards designed to give you a bird's eye view of your account performance. But you can customize this to show only the data you want in the format you want. You can add a card by clicking on Add Card. Here you'll have the option to choose from our pre-built cards library or create a card from scratch. Note that you can only have up to 10 cards in a single dashboard. You can remove a card by clicking on the three dots on that card and click on Remove Data View. You can also customize date range, conversion metrics, and comparison period at the top of the dashboard. You can also create multiple dashboards for your analytics needs. To do so, let's go back to our Dashboards tab. Then click on Create Dashboard. Give your dashboard a name and then click on Create Dashboard. Once inside your new dashboard, you can add cards to get answers to your most pressing questions. Next, we're going to navigate the Experiments tab. This is where you can see information and analytics for any A-B tests you're currently running for both campaigns and flows. You have a number of different filters you can use to narrow down your search, including the timeframe of the test, what channels were used, statistical significance, and more. Now, head to the Metrics tab. Here you'll see a list of metrics that are specific to the features you use and integrations you have in your account. For any given metric, you have five tools that you can explore. These can be accessed by clicking on the three dots to the right of the metric name. The five tools are charts, activity feed, cohorts, best people, and activity map. You can also find these by clicking on the metric you want to focus on. For example, placed order. These tools enable you to explore your metric data in a variety of ways. Charts lets you visualize the number of times the event has occurred over time. So in the case of the placed order event, you can see how many times someone placed an order from your store in the given time period. Activity feed shows individual events as they take place in real time, like a news feed. In this case, every time someone places an order, you'll see a new log appear on this page. You can additionally view historical events too. Cohorts lets you compare groups of people who triggered the event over time. You can use the drop-down under Metric to track and view groups who performed a certain action related to the selected metric. For example,
example, you can see cohorts for how many people placed an order per month, the placed order occurrences per month, and even the total placed order value per month. Best People helps you answer the question, who are your top performers for this event? In this case, which of your customers has placed the most orders over time? And what was the total value? And finally, Activity Map lets you see where in the world people are triggering the event. So in this case, where in the world your most recent customers are located. Next up, let's take a look at benchmarks. Benchmarks enable you to compare different aspects of your account performance to a peer group of similar companies. Your peer group is a set of around 100 companies that are similar to your own by their industry average item value, total revenue, growth rate, and sending patterns. If you have not set your industry or need to make an update, you can adjust this in your account settings. Click on your account name in the bottom left-hand corner. Then select Account and navigate to the Organization tab. On the Organization tab, scroll down until you find the Industry Information tab. Here you can select the most relevant industry in the drop-down menu. Then click on Save to save your changes. Now that we have selected the correct industry, let's go to the Benchmarks tab under Analytics in the main menu. You'll be taken back to this Overview page. The Overview page displays a quick summary of what aspects of your marketing program are performing well and identifies areas for improvement. You can also zoom in on different aspects of your marketing program by clicking on each individual metric shown here or by using the menu at the top. Dive deep into the performance of your overall business, campaigns, flows, and sign-up forms. Let's take a look at how data is organized within the pages. I'm going to take the example of the campaigns page, but this applies to all other pages. By default, the metrics will be displayed in a table view. For each metric, you can see your raw value, the peer median, and your industry median. You can view this data in different ways by using the icons in the top right corner of the card. The table view gives you clear indicators on how your performance for each metric measures up. The bar graph view lets you easily compare your rates to your peer group and the industry average. And the line graph view makes it straightforward to see how your rates trend over time. Note that you can only view the line chart if you are viewing more than one time period. You can also change the time period via the drop down at the top left corner. If you want to learn more about how Clavio selected your peer group for comparison, scroll down to the How We Chose Your Peer Group card. Head to the Deliverability tab next. Your deliverability is extremely important for the success of your marketing efforts. Luckily, you can see all of your deliverability information easily here to assess your status and action on any necessary changes. At the top, you can toggle between email and SMS to view your deliverability information for each channel. On the email tab, you'll see three sub pages score, reports, and bounce details. Score provides you with your overall deliverability score, an action center with recommended tasks for improvement, as well as recent email campaign and flow performance. This page helps you view your email deliverability at a high level and provides you with some key next steps for improving it. On the reports page, you can see key metrics across inbox providers, email send volume, and both negative and positive engagement metrics. Use the filters at the top to customize different views. On the bounce details page, you can quickly see your delivery rate and bounce rates, as well as the top bounce categories. On the SMS tab, 
you can view key metrics, fail details, and recent SMS campaign and flow performance. Finally, let's take a look at custom reports. Navigate to the custom reports tab under analytics in the main menu. You can use custom reports to dive deeper into metrics, campaign, flow, or product performance. You can create a report from scratch or choose one of our pre-built reports from the reports library. Both of these options are accessible via buttons in the top right hand corner. Click on Reports Library. You can now use filters to narrow down the best reports for your use case. Let's say you're trying to understand how your customers are engaging with your messages. Select that filter under Message Performance. The preview now only shows reports which analyze your message engagement. Choose Email Engagement by Campaign Template. Customize the report as needed by adjusting the report type, giving it a name, adding or removing metrics, selecting applicable groups, adding tags, or adjusting the time frame. Once you are happy with the settings, click on Save and Run Report to generate your report. Get a preview of the results in-app or export them as a CSV to conduct further analysis. You can also schedule the report to run periodically and be notified via email when your results are ready. And that's it. You've learned how to use the Analytics tab to review your data and get actionable insights to improve your marketing strategies. Start analyzing your performance now to make sure you're getting the most out of Klaviyo. We hope you enjoyed this video. Click like, subscribe, and check out the description for more resources to help you learn and grow with Klaviyo.